The question submitted to Malians in Sunday's referendum was simple, yes or no to a new constitution. While security concerns and roadblocks meant voting in some districts couldn't take place, no major incidents were reported. I voted calmly. I had no problems. We can express ourselves, even if we don't agree. That's what the no vote is for. Among the proposals, the creation of a Senate to run alongside the country's National Assembly. The new constitution would also boost the role of the president, a change some experts say could undermine the judiciary. The constitution strengthens the powers of the president and, for example, uh, gives him the power to appoint the head of the judiciary. So uh, that reduces the separation of powers, if you like. Potentially, it reduces the capacity of the judges to uh, dispute or challenge the power of the government by uh, opening the way, if you like, to a more compliant uh, judiciary. The draft also emphasizes national sovereignty and scraps French as Mali's official language, a move symbolic of the recent breakup in Franco-Malian relations. All eyes are on one man, Asaimi Goita, the head of the junta which seized power after a coup in 2020. He's the one who agreed to hold a vote which regional organizations and the United Nations have long called for. But the draft constitution has not appeased everyone. Some believe it will consolidate the military's power instead of giving way to civilian rule. The army has vowed to hold a transitional period, paving the way for presidential elections scheduled for February 2024.